Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited, I have another video for you guys today. As you can tell by the title, yay, I'm bringing Carrie Diaries back. So if you are new to my channel, The Carrie Diaries is something I started about two and a half, maybe three years ago, and it's just a really cool series. Obviously my name is Carrie, and I've done a couple videos on really like, just personal and kind of hard to talk about topics. I've kind of opened myself up to you guys about some struggles that I've had. Um, you know, a lot of you guys, it was so awesome. It became this like forum because a lot of you guys opened up to me as well saying you have dealt with the same things or you've dealt with stuff similar similarly and this is how you dealt with them and all that kind of stuff. So it was a really cool series that um, I was so excited to, you know, be able to bring to you guys in the first place. And I'm even more excited to kind of bring back. Um, so again, if you can tell by the title, this is going to be talking about looking for jobs, um, you know, job hunting, what I've done in the past, what I'm doing now, um, just tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, and kind of making this another open forum. Maybe, you know, if you talk about it in the comments, it can help someone else out with your advice on what you've done. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in learning about um, job searching or looking for a new job or anything like that, then just keep on watching. So yay, I hope you can hear me. Um, I have my air conditioning on because it's just too hot outside and last time I filmed a video I was like sweating. There's also a weird shadow with this light. I'm sorry um, if you can like see shadows on my face. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to uh, bring you guys this video. You know I'm always really open and honest with you guys and I try to be as transparent as I can. So, um, I, you guys might be able to tell, I have been uploading a lot more videos lately. Um, I am currently in between jobs, um, so I'm looking for another job for myself. I'm kind of in an in-between, so I have some time um, to film more videos for you guys, but also really take my time in finding, you know, what's really right for me and what's um, an exciting next step and something that I'm really passionate and excited about. Um, so, whether you have just graduated college and you're looking for your first job, or you're in between jobs as well, um, hopefully Hopefully this video can help you with some advice or just like it's nice to hear someone else is going through that as well um, I feel like all this stuff is always better in numbers so um, hopefully it helps you out and you can find some um, inspiration in this so I guess we'll just get started um, the first thing I guess I'll just talk about I had written down some notes but I think I'm just gonna kind of go on the cuff of this um, but the first thing I want to just say to everyone is you know whether you are in between jobs or you are searching for your first one I know it's scary because one you know you might have bills to pay whether that's rent or um, just utilities or groceries or just your livelihood so going out to eat having a social life like it's always scary because you know you're not having an income um, or you don't have a steady paycheck and that can be really nerve-wracking but um, try as much as you can to you know have some patience and and take things slow because the last thing you want to do is you know just kind of panic that you need another job and all of a sudden you know you fell into a role that might not be right for you and um, you might end up being really unhappy and if that's the case so much so that you know you never want to start a job and then like leave it right away um, I, I never think that's a good idea I don't think it looks good on you or the company so be patient with this, you know, and really take your time. I understand that in some circumstances you might not have a lot of time, but, um, you know, if you do, really take that time to figure out what you want to do. Whether you are in a field of something that you don't, you really didn't like and you want to move on to something else, you know, like, take that time to really reflect, make sure it is what you want to do. and. And reach out to people and reach out to companies and you know go on online forums and go on to websites like Glassdoor that have like a ton of information and a ton of really great insight so just really give you that give yourself that time um, I always like to kind of like reflect back on the last couple years and say like okay like what did I do that I really liked what did I not do that I wish I did you know what is my dream role what is my dream role that's like realistic like all those kind of things to kind of like like narrow down what I really want to do um, and then you have like a starting point and you can kind of jump from there so that would be like my first 
kind of tip, I guess, and first thing that I've been doing. Um, but you know, if you do have the um, availability and you do want to make a little bit of money in between, I always recommend still, honestly, babysitting is a great option. I have some friends and my friend's family that I've been really lucky that I'm able to babysit here, you know, here and there. And it's a little bit of money, but it's cash. And it's like a great kind of like, okay, I have a little bit of something to get me through that next week. And you know, that for me is at least a little bit of a security. And it's really nice to know that it's always kind of an option and if you don't have a friend or you know family or anyone that you know that needs a babysitter there's awesome babysitting sites that you can get really temporary stuff in your area you don't even need to live in a big city but there's sites like care.com um, I think like babysitters.com I made that up I'm not sure there's a babysitters.com. I know there's a care.com. Um, oh, Sitter, Sitter City, I think is another one. Um, I could have made that up too. But these are all great names. Um, no, but I've always gone to care.com in the past and it's been really great. Um, you can find anything from very part-time, once a week, twice a week, all the way to like full-time nannying. So if that's something that you wanna do for a few months and make some great money and save up, that's an awesome option. Um, so that's a big thing that I've always kinda done. Um, anytime I've been in between jobs, I've always kind of fallen back on you know babysitting and, and doing that kind of stuff. Back to kinda just going, you know, when you're actually looking for jobs, I think there's two routes that you can kind of go on. Um, apologize. I think there's really two routes you can go on when you're kind of like just starting and looking um, for a job. It doesn't have to be one or the other. You can combine them. Um, but one, I think, is obviously just like hitting the ground running and going on um, just job sites. So Indeed, LinkedIn, Glassdoor, um, going on the brands that you really like or the companies that you like, going directly on their website and going to like the career section, seeing what job listings they have opened. Um, kind of just like really hit you hit the ground running when you know on your computer or on your phone or on your iPad or whatever you have, whatever you have accessible to you. Um, just kind of seeing what's out there and just like apply mad. Like I just would like literally send out, I would try to make it a goal to do like 10 companies in 10 roles a day that I actually liked. And if you do that, you know, Monday through Friday, five days a week, that's 50 jobs that you just apply to. Um, you know, and it sounds easy. It does take some time. And um, after doing research, you know, it will take like a good chunk out of your day. But if you have the time, it's really good to kind of just like get your stuff out there, get into the rhythm of applying because there's kind of like a science to it. Um, you know, also making sure that your resume is really up to date, um, putting anything, any information that is beneficial to you, any other like work that you've done outside of your past jobs. So like freelance work or like volunteer work or anything like that, that kind of sets you apart and just shows everything that you've done is always like really awesome, I think, to a company. Um, so just making sure your resume is awesome, making sure you have a really good cover letter, those type of thing, types of things um, can really set you apart. So there's that kind of path, and then there's another one which is kind of just like going to your own personal network. Your parents, your friends, your parents' friends, your friends' parents sisters, aunts, uncles, anyone you know, any friends that you've had at past jobs, any old bosses that you're still in touch with. Honestly, you really realize how big your personal network is when you have to like kind of dig into this kind of thing. When I look through like my own network, there's like hundreds of people, not hundreds, but like tens and tens of people that I've been able to reach out to. Just a quick email to be like, hey, I'm looking for a job. I don't know if you know anyone that is looking for XYZ. This is what I'm looking for. Here's my resume. Here's a cover letter. Boom. Um, and I'm really fortunate. I have a lot of great people around me that have super have been so supportive and have literally like just put my stuff out there like wildfire and I've gotten a lot of emails and you know calls back because of that so it's really awesome and you know that's what they're for you know I always feel like sometimes I'd be really nervous to like I don't want to impose and like reach out to like you know my mom's friend because like she has a really great network but like she might think I'm like bothering her like that's what the community that's what you have your network for and at the end of the day you know those people really do want to help you so don't be afraid to reach out to them um, a lot can happen if you just kind of put yourself out there a little bit and and you know there's a lot of good in people and they really want to help out um, when it comes down to it so that's really cool 
So those are kind of the two main paths. Um, another option, which I have never really done, but it is out there, and I think if you aren't comfortable with either of those, you can always go, if you went to a college or a university, um, a lot of them have career centers or like alumni centers or stuff like that, and that's what they're there for. That's their job, that's to help you after you've graduated. You know, you've spent one, two, three, four years, whatever there, and um, given a lot of money, and that's what they're there for. They wanna help you succeed, and they wanna set you up for a successful life. So go to that career center, go to um, old professors, go to like anything that the college can offer. Um, there's a lot of really great resources there, and I think that's also a really great option for you. So those are kind of some tips that I have. I didn't have a lot of information coming into this, because at the end of the day, I'm still learning as well. Um, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on with me what I've been going through and also just to know that you know you're not alone I'm going through this stuff too um, so please make this a forum I've always loved that I've always wanted this to be an open space um, so if you have any other tips or any tricks that you've done in your job search in the past if you're going through it now like let us know what other tips you have um, and and hopefully there can be like a cool little discussion down below so um, yeah as always thank you guys so much for watching um, you have been so awesome. I have a lot of really exciting videos coming up for you guys. Um, I'm really excited. I'm actually going to film one, I hope, with Julia this weekend. That'll be really, really funny. Um, and then a couple other stuff coming up in the next couple weeks. So um, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I was a YouTuber. I left YouTube for a while. I'm kind of back, so this could be really fun. Um, make sure that you join the fam and uh, subscribe for more videos. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. The shadows are crazy, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.